Mr. Raja is member, Business Advisory Committee, member panel of Chairpersons Lok Sabha, member committee on Welfare Schedule Caste and Scheduled Tribes, member Standing Committee on Personal Public Grievances, Law and Justice, member committee on Subordinate Legislation, member General Purposes Committee, Lok Sabha, member Consultative Consultative Committee, Mem Ministry of Defense. Mr. Raja is a writer and has published books. A few to mention are an autobiography of democracy. 2G saga unfolds. He has widely traveled the world. Now I request the Honorable Member of Parliament, Mr. Raja Garu, to talk a few words, then followed by the questions today. Dignity Samidayas, dear friends, thank you for the opportunity that has been conferred upon me by the forum. I think that I want to recall the genesis and mechanism of development of the women's rights by means of constitutional and statutory measures. Today we are discussing how we are going to improve the efficiency and delivery system of Section 125 CRPC in terms of maintenance. But let me go back a little bit how the rights of the woman has been inculcated and was denied later and how it was brought. In 1952, when Dr. Ambedkar who constructed the constitution of this country wanted to pilot the Hindu court bill under which under which divorce, adoption, inheritance and all other rights for the woman have been incorporated. He wanted to make a complete uh, legal change for the woman's right in 1952. The bill was Piloted to the parliament. The prime minister was Nehru. Seems to be who was called as agnostic. He did not have any faith on the religion. He was agnostic. He was rationalist. But he used to love only human and human approach. So impartially he admitted politically and administratively that the bill that was brought by the Dr. Ambedkar is going to give a very big revolution in the domain of women's rights. But so-called people, those who are having in those days religious strong faith, if you are giving equal right to women, the entire social structure will be demolished and the women will be, uh, if the women are given free hand, then there will be no moral value for the society and the family and most of the women may be uh, leaving the husband by empowering the property and others. This was the set mindset of including Rajendra Prasad, who became later the President of India, and Shyam Prasad Mukherjee, and Tandon, and so many leaders. Those who are having very deep-rooted, a uh, rotten Hindu, value, Hindu uh, faith values. Ultimately, Dr. Ambedkar was forced to resign. Ambedkar said, I made constitution. The country is being run on my constitution, I am the law minister, but still I was not able to pilot my bill and I was not able to succeed. Then my conscience is not permitting to me to continue as the minister. Then he resigned. That made a big noise in the country. Later, Nehru felt the idea to maintain equilibrium and equality in the society with the gender parity with all rights absolutely is essentially necessary. The Hindu court bill was fragmented into three pieces. Hindu Women's Rights Act and the Adoption Act and Maintenance Act. All these things came into existence later. But still, the right of property and inheritance was not given. Even by the, that was not accepted by all, all the senior uh, Hindu leaders in the Congress. Because if you are giving right in the property, then the brothers and sisters used to fight. Not only his brothers and sisters. She may not give respect to the husband. This is the apprehension that was in the mind of the people in those days. Those were having very deep-rooted uh, religion faith. I am very proud to stand before you. I came from DMK because 
1952 ambedkar was defeated in the parliament in 1989 that too i have to say i have to say very specifically when ambedkar resigned and came out to meet the press i have been defeated nehru was the prime minister i am having no grievances with nehru but nehru cabinet did not permit me to pass this bill but i am confident i may not be in the earth i may die one day this bill will be passed by somewhere else by some gentleman who is having longest political enemies alas 1989 my leader at karunanidhi enacted such a law in the assembly first time in india that in the family girls women are having equal rights then it was adopted in 2004 or 7 by upa government to give the rights so this is the genesis and mechanism how the women's right initiate and develop and today we are discussing how to improve it in spite of that today i met the chief justice of india and other two judges in the committee of uh, the uh, committee for law and justice we discuss about the women's right even chief justice of india is really concerned about the women's right about the family courts the family courts are full of loaded with cases and solutions were not being delivered in proper way so we are having so many systems we are having so many challenges in those days women were pushed to reside within the house now they got educated they got job they wanted to have equal dignity they want to have equal rights and they want treated to be properly and with parity with husband with brother the ego starts no you are a woman the moment recognition start it will lead to divorce but this is also one among the right of the woman unless and until males are taught properly you have to treat your wife your sister on par with your brothers and father unless and until this teaching is inculcated in the mind of the people whatever is discussed by way of law it will not be workable see anti subordinate was abolished way back in 1956 and 50s when carl constant came into existence but how many anti subordinate activities are being done so bringing legislation is one thing keeping the mind with good ideas and progressive approach is another thing so we are discussing 125 so many mechanism have been done in law of course so many judgments were pronounced all these pronouncement judgments are encouraging the women's right in course of time we want to say one day i want to dream as a student of dravidian school that this provision must be treated as redundant redundant on the contrary male has to file an application for maintenance from the wife such a thing has to come such a thing has to come so however in order to reach that position we are fighting for the women's right dravidian movement is the pioneer in the whole india even voting right was given by usa and uk later only in tamil nadu we gave women's voting right in 1920s later it was given by america so let us work together legally i am aware what are the provisions what are the uh, lacunas available in the provisions if any questions being asked we can discuss together i am not competent to give exclusive answer to you i, I cannot claim myself a legal expert still you want to work together we will be with you our party will be, will be with you let us march together thank you